Dakota Wayne. How are you doing these days? That's a very great question. Thank you. Uh, I would say pretty good. The first few days of 2024 actually have been an improvement. Um, for the backstory, for people who don't know, I'm living in Switzerland now, pursuing more composition studies. Um, and 2023, 2022 was quite difficult for me, I would say. I got to Switzerland and it's very expensive and I was having a hard time getting projects and still not getting any money. And so I took on a job serving ramen. It was stressful and, um, but it's, it's gotten better. 2024 has gotten better, I would say. So yeah, optimistic. Yeah. Um, if you want that, I'll be interested in like hearing on, uh, about some of your hardships um, that sure, like, yeah. le led to 2024 and maybe like what's the, like, What would you say is the main difference that makes uh, the current times better than it was like uh, a year ago? Um, yeah, I mean, thanks, thanks, thanks for the interest. Super nice. <laughs> um, I would say the biggest event where you know, from first coming to Switzerland till now, where I feel a bit optimistic, was probably finishing my master in Basel where I had to produce like a evening length concert of all my music. That's kind of the requirement for all the composers who do the masters there. Um, the school books a room for you. It's a very nice like old printing hall that's converted, kind of like an off space. You get equipment, you have to organize everything else. And this was a huge stress for me because, you know, I like... The, some big names in the new music scene are going to come. They're going to oh. judge you. <laughs> and I had, I had previously some, some bad experiences presenting pieces there where I felt I was a bit unfairly judged or maybe I misjudged the audience a bit even hmm. and felt like I got a bit uh, ostracized or I felt like a bit of like a somehow not fitting in or just I was super nervous on how people would see me and nervous that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to make a career, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I presented it I almost had a heart attack that day because you know weeks and weeks of work and so much stress and you know trying to put all of the technique together we had you know the electronic speakers and we we're doing a live stream with OBS and uh, the PTZ cameras where you can control them Ooh. from like a console <laughs> and you know video projection and you know electronic ensemble and instrumental ensemble and in the trend like the first two pieces went great It's this, I think you saw this, this ghost in the sheets piece with the video and then there's the ghost costumes and they kind of like yeah, yeah. do some mild provocations <laughs> of the audience, which it, for some people is already a huge provocation. Yeah. And um, then we had a small like Trond Reynoldson homage. Uh, I gave out a, a composition prize to my colleague. I'm not speaking negatively, only positive about this man. <laughs> Vili Polainar. Vili, if you're watching this somewhere, thank you for submitting to the Agronimbus Compositionspreis. You were the star <laughs> so we, we you know we shout made out it. to billy <laughs> billy billy <laughs> billy yeah yeah billy uh polacek yes <laughs> no so it's a big event and then in the switch we brought the keyboard to another room Ooh. and we're getting ready it's like intermission it's like, okay we're gonna set this up plug it in check if everything's working no signal oh my it was God. like i i custom programmed this midi keyboard in super collider to have all of these samples everything was like you know certain uh, midi controllers did certain things filters and triggering all these samples and uh, playback speed did not work tried all kinds of things different cables different computers different programs none of it the sound sound um technic guy was like yeah like your com your keyboard is just not sending signal And at this point, my heart is sinking. Yeah. I feel my heart rate speeding up. Like the ground <laughs> beneath me starts to warp. I'm like, and you know, the musicians are like, yeah, maybe we should just like, you know, perform it in like a different context. Maybe when we have everything working. And I'm like, <laughs> and the thing was, at the beginning of the concert, I took people's money <laughs> as part of the piece. Part of the as concept. Ransom. Part of the concept was <laughs> you can You can get in for free, but you don't get any chairs. And you're like in the corner of the room where you can't see very well. You're only watching a live stream. And there's like different packages you can pay for. Hmm. If you want a good experience of so the highest package, it was like, it wasn't like a lot. It was like 35 francs or something. And then you get to like lay down. You get like a free snack or drink. I mean, that sounds pretty Swiss, right? Offering a premium package. Yes, yes. <laughs> it was part of my not so, not so hidden social critique. Yeah of trying to you know reproduce social hierarchies 
Um, but it, not not totally critique and say, oh, you know, it's so bad that we pay for things for nice things, but to make it a bit ambiguous where if you're in this privileged position, you get something, but you also maybe miss something mm. because you're also being filmed. So they're a bit exposed. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a whole different story. So anyway, I, I did this project and I had this moment where the keyboard broke and my heart was about to have a heart attack because I took people's money and, you know, the director of the institute was there. The director of the New Music Institute was there. My composition professor, the other composition professors, um, some people from, like, the Swiss foundations were there. You know, like, it's... They... they, I think it's relatively well attended, these these master concerts. I was like... (gasps) But in that moment, I said, okay, we're going to do it without the keyboard, whatever. And from that moment, I think my stress level, it just, it can't get that high again. So like, I know like the worst is behind me Yeah. <laughs> for like the immediate future. From that moment, the keyboard breaking at my master recital in this like very, for me, quite high profile thing and taking people's money and everyone's like waiting outside. Everyone was waiting outside to come in. Cool. We told them technical difficulties, please wait 20 minutes. I heard like, to go to people are leaving. And I was like, oh. so after that, okay. I think I, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> yeah, so that, that finished, and then I think things gradually kind of got a bit easier. Um, I started a different program. It's a bit, a bit better work-life balance now, I would say. Okay. And a bit you more don't, confidence, maybe. And you don't need to arrange these huge projects for, for high-profile audiences. At the moment, I don't have any big projects. But this is this is a different topic. You know, it's like the role of the composer nowadays. How do you, if you have crazy, you know, visions where you have like scenography, if you have all kinds of things that are not just like score and instrumentals playing it, how do you do it? Because a yeah. lot of concert halls don't support that. True. It's hard to arrange these things. So self-organizing is maybe necessary, I would say. I think we'll get to this yeah. exact topic actually in a future question but now you get to ask me a question okay great yeah.